Hello, everyone. Today, we're joined by Michaela Fias, Director of Brand and Marketing at Luxury Presence, to discuss branding trends and predictions for 2025 in the real estate and prop tech space. Michaela, thanks so much for joining us. You have been instrumental in the design and growth of the Luxury Presence brand. I'm really curious what other brands you currently admire and look to for inspiration. I love this question and uh, thank you. I'm excited to be here. So there are three brands that come to mind. First one uh, is Squarespace. They stand out thanks to their innovative storytelling. They're using videos and documentary style content, which effectively highlights the platform's features and showcases the creative journey of their users, as well as, you know, the way of how they create the campaign, um, which consistently merges technology and creativity is just uh, next level. Then from D2C, like direct-to-consumer brands, I was thinking about Glossier. They are recognized, you know, for its consistent and unique branding and court in distinctive colors uh, and unified visual identity. However, their fun and authentic copywriting creates a relatable and engaging brand personality. So, and that's what always um, stands out beautifully everywhere, you know, you look. And uh, also, I love the way of how Glossier shines in community building. Um, and they're able to foster a strong sense of belonging through active social media engagement and uh, the user-generated content. And lastly, I feel like I wouldn't get through this uh, question without mentioning Apple. Um, Apple truly continues to lead in branding with minimalistic aesthetics and unwearing commitment to um, quality. So, and then they're also able to maintain a consistent brand message across all of the platforms from product design to marketing um, campaigns, which as I always say to, to my team, and you know, that's one of the things I always look, look for. Consistency is the one thing that creates the brand um, in the long run. So, and they're truly amazing in it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we certainly see the consistency that you've brought to luxury presence. Uh, it definitely stands out and certainly an important part of brand. Uh, would love to hop right into some predictions. What trends do you anticipate being big next year? Are there any trends you see potentially going out of style as well? Well, I think that AI is the keyword for next year. Um, and next year, AI-driven design execution will become major trend. AI will move beyond just generating ideas to creating real-time brand assets and content. And it will also become a crucial uh, part of the design process for businesses, designers, and you know all brands alike. Um, at the same time, I, I think we'll see a strong return to handcrafted and human-centered design, which is, I know, may sound a little bit contradictory and, and on a complete opposite side of the spectrum, uh, but that's where um, design and all of the styles and trends are usually about that um, contrast between um, two two waves of uh, of styles. So, embracing the unique imperfections of human made designs will allow brands and designers to balance technology with authentic craftsmanship. And then, for as for the visual trends for twenty twenty five, I think we can anticipate lots of vibrant bold color palettes such as neon yellows and deep purples. Um, that con convey lots of energy and op optimism. Um, in terms of typography, on the other hand, we'll see, again, more expressive uh, fonts featuring custom um, and funky word marks um, with dynamic typefaces to add personality and, and uniqueness to the brands and to the brand messages. And additionally, you know, on the same um, wave as that contrast I mentioned initially with AI and handcrafted human-centered design, uh, I think we'll see lots of minimalist maximalism, which um, is combining simplicity with bold expressive elements. So, and this will help to transfer how brands and designers, uh, you know, approach storytelling because it will offer that fresh take on clean and sophisticated design. We've seen lots of clean aesthetics, uh, mostly rounded corners, um, you know, truly editorial like approach to lots of design trends. Now uh, we will see um, the opposite end. And some other trend that I think will go out of the, uh, of the zeitgeist will be template based design platforms. 
think of Canva and like that Canva like design, like usually you can say when you see um, a, you know, Canva based layout or design um, because designers and brands are seeking a bit more personalized and unique looks. Um, we are seeing a flood of similar content pushing the industry towards more experimental and diverse styles right now. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, really exciting predictions. I'm excited to see all of those come into fruition next year. I'd love to touch on how the real estate market is, is continuously evolving. Um, new generations are entering in the uh, you know, real estate market. So with millennials and, and Gen Z increasingly you know, buying homes and, and being more fit to, to, to sell as well, how can agents kind of tailor their brands to resonate with these younger generations? Well, I, I think the connect with millennials and Gen Z's brands and also real estate agents should focus on, and this will sound very uh, generic, but I'll explain what I mean by that. They should focus on authenticity and transparency. So sharing real stories and experiences, challenges, and, and also challenges will build trust and show what your brand stands for um, and help to connect with those uh, younger audiences, especially Gen Z's. Um, then obviously leveraging technology is essential. You can use and brands should use AI to personalize the content and create more, uh, for example, virtual experiences like online tours or interactive videos that engage with those more tech savvy audiences. And also highlighting eco-friendly practices and promoting sustainable products, you know, will attract those who prioritize ethical choices, which is again, very important to especially Gen Z's. Yeah, definitely. I, I certainly align with that. You've mentioned authenticity a few times now. It's, it's certainly a big buzzword and rightfully so. How can brands balance that authenticity with professionalism, especially in an industry like real estate? It's a very good question. Um, I th so real estate professionals and, you know, personal and brands basically should share real stories and for example, uh, such as testimonials from clients or customers, they should showcase the successes and challenges to build trust. So again, just leveraging the platforms like Instagram and TikTok to show behind the scenes, to show like what the a life of in a uh, in a day of a real estate agent looks like. Um, that builds the authenticity and helps to differentiate the um, agent's tone of voice from others because there is only one of you. Like there, there is only one brand that that will be that agent or that professional um and also being transparent about product details the company values or your business practices will help to further reinforce uh, authenticity and on the other side you know professionalism is upheld through consistent branding elements such as a polished visual identity clear messaging or reliable service delivery so using human-centered design practices will ensure that all of those interactions from website to customer service will reflect both the brand authenticity and then its commitment to excellence. Definitely. I love that. So lots of emerging tech. You've touched on AI playing a major role uh, in, in content creation, in, in branding. Can you expand on that a little bit? And do you have any tools you may recommend agents explore, uh, to help with, you know, branding? Of course. So I think that AI, um, you know, as I mentioned, will, uh, set to transform branding for companies and designers and also real estate agents alike, um, since it will enable a creation of real-time brand assets and content, uh, very seamlessly. Um, the speeding up of the production process will allow to, for more agile marketing campaigns, but also it will help to further democratize the access to um, creativity, basically, and, and to that design expression, which, you know, previously was uh, mostly held and being carried on by, you know, professionals with uh, design degrees or, you know, people like me that uh, work in it for four years. This will also mean that businesses and designers can produce more personalized marketing materials and uh, test out more quickly what resonates with the audiences and what not. Um, another thing that I'm really excited about are AI-driven analytics, which again will just further reinforce that personalized approach. You can you can talk to a agent at or like to to your customer, whether that's a buyer or seller, 
at the right moment. Um, and all thanks to, again, just more personal, personalized AI driven um, touch points throughout your marketing and branding efforts. But however, it's crucial to balance AI's efficiency with the human touch to maintain, again, the same buzzword we've mentioned be be previously, authenticity. And, you know, the emotional connection in branding efforts. We don't want your brand uh, or any brand shouldn't feel as run of the mill um, AI generated templated uh, piece of, you know, the marketing communications to to truly feel as as, as you. Um, AI should help only to amplify and enhance and again, fasten the production of those elements and assets. We'd love to finish off with some advice for agents. I'm really curious, what common branding mistakes are you seeing agents make and how can these be avoided? Sure. So common mistake is over relying on generic templates. We mentioned it before, tools like Canva, that it's very helpful. Uh, it can help to elevate visuals and you know create design assets very quickly. However, it can make a brand feel indistinct and um, templated. So I think, and again, I'm biased, but brands should invest in custom bespoke design elements that will help to highlight their unique strengths and personality. And also embracing craftsmanship and personalization can help the brand stand out in a crowded market. Um, And uh, secondly, inconsistent branding across platforms can confuse and turn off potential clients or customers. Um, Ensuring a cohesive brand experience from online presence to in-person interactions is very, very important. It enhances brand recognition and trust. And regularly reviewing and updating brand branding strategies and your branding, you know, online can help to ensure that uh, you are upkeeping your brand and you're keeping it consistent. It's something that um, we also do at Luxury Presence. And I, and I know many, um, you know, agents that do so. So that's one of the pitfalls and like an easy fix that can be done to ensure consistency. Absolutely. That's uh, all really wonderful advice. Well, Michaela, I think that's our time. Thank you so much for joining us. I think everyone is going to get a lot out of this conversation and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for having me.